this um, you've noticed perhaps that it's raining this is a very important part of the tradition of the town of Benefestinog and it really wouldn't be fair to bring you here on a sunny day I'd just like to say a very quick word a personal note of thanks to everybody who has been involved in this magnificent project you see the fruits of all the hard work on this side of the platform here, the newest steam locomotive in the world, I assume, unless one's just been built on the quiet without anyone telling us. Uh, in the 1860s. And in 1872, a double fairly locomotive was built in Bristol, um, named James Spooner. So, our new James Spooner is not a replica of that engine, but it takes design cues from the original Victorian engines. So you'll see the open middle cab, and uh, which featured in the original Merlin Emrys. And the bells, the bells were also there on the original James Spooner. So the first James Spooner might have been built in Bristol, but we have made the majority of this loco here in North Wales. And we're very proud of this, as keeping the skills required alive to build and maintain the loco like this is very important to the railway to have a sustainable. So we started work on the project actually in 2014. And the plan at first was a replacement boiler design that would replace the, the, the boilers in the other uh, double fairlies, which were getting older. So all new boilers have to have a design approval from a, a notified body, British Engineering Services. 
we gained this in 2015 with our, our new design. In 2016, it became apparent that the 1979 Fairly Earl of Merionoth was not in good condition at all and would need an extensive rebuild. So we decided rather than repairing it, we will build a completely new locomotive. So we, a board decision then set the wheels in motion to build a new James Spooner. In 2017, we engaged Powys Steel Construction in Flangunog in the Tanat Valley to start building the new boiler. And at Boston Lodge, we started work on many of the other parts required. It's been a huge amount of work, as you can imagine. Um, all sorts of parts, all sorts of materials required. Anyway, in 2020 and 21, COVID really stopped us in our tracks from working on James Spooner. Um, but since then, we've come on in leaps and bounds this year, and the locomotive is now finished, as you see.